we're gonna talk about cheer and moment cheer cheer forces and, and, and bending moments cheer forces and bending moments this is what happens when you have a big we're gonna about, uh, talk about internal forces let's let me draw uh, let me draw a beam here if i have a beam here a very simple beam this is a beam with a force here let's say you have 20 pounds here so you have support here support here can you tell me what are, what is the magnitude of those two reactions there just by looking at that drawing any suggestion this is pounds right uh, 10 pounds uh, here uh, uh, 10 pounds here right yes right okay we saw the reactions already now if we cut this beam anywhere and make a free body diagram of the little piece and i'm going to draw it up a little bit like that and then the other side will be here with the 20 pound over here somewhere and the 10 pound here and the other 10 pound here right we have done this before when we did the when we did the frame, the frame problems, I asked you for internal forces at point D, remember? We cut the beam at a given section, and then we find the forces there. As soon as you cut the beam, you can see the internal forces as a shear force. Call, let's call it this the section S. So this is the shear at section S, the shear at section S. You will see a moment let's call it moment at section s if you look at the other at the other piece this will be moment s and and this these two shear forces and these two bending moments are action reaction couples so they are exactly the same thing but look, looking at the force or at the moment from from different points of view looking from the point of view of the member on the right or looking at the, at the forces from the point of view of the member of, on the left but they are the same they are the same the same forces magnitude the same um direction the same but opposite opposite sense if if the one on the left here if this one is going down this one has to go up because it's action reaction in this case the shear force vs on the left element is the force that the right element is applying on the left element and then the shear force on the right element here on the right is the force that this element on the left is applying on the right element so it's action reaction force if i apply if one element apply force on other element the other element is applying the same force in the opposite direction to the first element that's action reaction that you guys are very familiar with that is uh, the third third newton's law okay no problem with that so we are going to be studying the the internal forces and this maybe another word about what are those forces here the 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 beam is continuous all over the length the beam is continuous and in order to see those internal forces we do a theoretical cut not that we physically cut the beam it's a theoretical cut and then what we see here if, if we see the shear force v sub s the, the shear at the section is the effect of the the forces trying to break the beam like this like that trying to cut it like that trying to it's, it's kind of like this 10 pound force is trying to break the beam like that that's what is happening here the force of 10 pounds is trying to to move this part of the beam up with respect to this part of the beam that it will, it will go down. That's the shear, the shear effect of the force. Um, or you can think of looking from, from the other side of the problem is this 20 going down and 10 going up. 
this gives you a, a final force going down of 10 that is trying to move this beam down. And this force of 10 is trying to move this force up, right? And that's how you get the shear effect on any given section of the beam. It, this is happening all over the place. No matter where you make the cut, you will find those shear forces. No matter where you do the cut, you will see those forces. And they will go up or down depending on the loading of the beam or what section you are considering. Those shear forces can go up or down. And we need to define a convention of signs for these shear forces and also a convention of signs for the moments. Let's talk about the moments a little bit. So you find the same thing with respect to moments. The moment is the internal force that is trying to avoid one piece to rotate, to rotate like this, right? With respect to the other section. The moment is trying to avoid this rotation, like that. So if you have your beam, if you have your beam, And we're talking about this section here with this. So this force, this 10 pound force is trying to produce this rotation. If we are talking about section S, so it's going to break, to break the beam like that, right? This 10 pound force. And the beam doesn't break because there is an internal moment that the material with the cohesion or the cohesion of the material is trying to avoid that that happens. So that's so the ele the element doesn't rotate like this, doesn't rotate like this. It remains like that because there is a moment here in this direction that is opposite to this moment that is produced by this 10 pound force. This 10 pound force, if, if we know this distance here, whatever it is, there is a moment here. In this case, in this particular case, this moment will be 10 times x, right? So there will be an internal moment here equals to 10, 10 times x in order to balance this moment here. So they, they balance each other and the element doesn't rotate or doesn't break. Well, in the future, you will use this moment to provide the material with the dimensions and the materials uh, um, sufficient to, to avoid the rupture of the element. Okay, uh, again, if you, look at the, if you look at the moment from one side of the problem, we we'll say this is the side of the 10 pound. Mm, this is the side of the 10 pound, and you have the section S here and you have the moment here. If you look at the other side, if you look at the other side of the beam, where you have here the 20 and the 10, then you have a moment that is opposite to that one. This is, this is M sub S, this is M sub S. These two are action reactions. So it's, it's, it's actually the same, the same moment, but uh, you are looking at the same moment from two different points of view, from the element on the left or from the element on the right. So, same thing as in the in the shear. Since these two are action-reaction couples, they are they have opposite directions. So, in this case, I, if I want to define a convention for for a, a sign convention for moments, I cannot say clockwise positive or counterclockwise positive because I have like in this case I have both directions and if this is positive this has to be positive too because it's the same. So that doesn't work to establish a convention like clockwise positive or counterclockwise positive. That doesn't work in this case. So the sign convention that is used for moments um, I like to think about that sign convention like if the beam or the section is having a good time, then it's a positive moment. A positive moment, like a, a nice time, positive moment. In what way? Like, for example, in this beam, 
this moment is positive because this beam is having a good time. Let me show you why. You know that the beam is having a good time or is having a positive moment because it's smiling. Let me show you. If I draw the beam like this, and this is the support, and this is the support, and this is the load here. 20. If you try to imagine how is the deformation of this beam, I think that is easily for you to see that the deformation of this beam is like this. See? The beam is smiling. The beam is smiling. You have a beam like this. So the beam is smiling, it's having a positive moment. If the beam is smiles, the beam is under positive moment. So all the sections on a beam that is smile have positive moment. If the beam is not smiling, but the beam is sad, let me try to put another some example. Let's see a beam like this with a load like this. Can you think about the deformation of this beam? This beam will go like this. But under the force. So it's like this, right? Like this. Negative, negative moment. So that's how you, um, you can uh, find the sign of the moment. If the beam is having a good time, the beam is holding internal positive moments. And if the beam is sad, then the beam is having internal negative moments. Very easy, very easy sign convention. Mm. Let me try to put another example here. So what you do is that when you have a specific problem, I don't know, you have a beam with a force, with a lot here, another lot here, uh, or something like this. So what is the deformation of this? Probably something like this. So you will know that this, this part of the beam is happy. This part of the beam is sad. So all this section will be positive moments. So if you make a cut in any place here, any place here, the moment that you find in there, say you put here, this will be the moment. That will be a negative moment. Sorry, a positive moment. If you make a cut over here and you analyze the section here, you will have a moment like this and a moment that is negative. If, if you if you find if, let's 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 see for example that one here you have a beam you don't know the load you don't know, you don't know anything but if you see that the moment is like this you try to imagine how this moment will bend the beam so you imagine if this moment is going in this direction how the beam will bend by the action of that moment well it bends like this right so sad negative if you make another cut somewhere else say here and you have a moment like this you imagine how the beam will bend under the action of this moment so it will bend like this try to imagine that i have this is the beam this is the beam uh this this is the moment applying let's see i'm i'm, I'm, I'm applying the moment like this so if I bend the beam by that moment going in this direction like this, the beam is going to bend like that, right? Sad. I cannot do a positive moment because I will break my fingers, right? But it's very easy to, to see with a negative moment. This is the moment. It's going to go in this direction. So I'm going to, de to deform the beam, the beam like that. So the beam will go sad. So this will be a positive moment. This will be a negative moment. Easy, the conven sign convention for moments, easy. Easy, easy. Positive, happy face, happy beings, 
negative sad beings. Now with the cheer, with the cheer is not as easy as with the moment, but let's try to make a little sense about cheer. I hope you guys got it with the moment to identify when the moment is positive, when the moment is negative. Um, with the cheer, we have a, again our simple beam. If we make a cut here, you will have the cheer force. We have our famous 10 pounds here this shear force, you get the shear force by applying a summation of forces in the y direction equal to zero. That's how you find this force, this force Vs. This is the unknown. In this case, you will say, for example, um, positive going down, and then you have Vs minus 10 pounds equals to zero, Vs equals to 10 pounds, I got a positive sign here, so it means that it is correct. So the, the, the shear force in this case go, is going down. Okay, I just found out that the shear is going down, you know, it's 10 pounds. Is it positive or is it negative? Is positive? No, no. This positive doesn't mean the sign of the shear. This positive just means that the way that I assume it was correct. If I get a negative sign here, it means that the sign that I choose, the, the direction that I choose was, or the direction that I assume was not correct, and then I have to fix it and put it in the other direction, right? That's not, that's not the meaning of this sign here. Once you get this sign here, you know that the direction is correct or incorrect, and then you fix it, you need to fix it, and then at the end, you end up with knowing the actual direction of the chair, in this case going down. Now, is this a positive chair or a negative chair? If this chair produces a rotation on the piece of pin that you are analyzing, okay, this one, if produces a rotation clockwise, then the chair is positive. Chair is positive. So you have to imagine what happens if this force produces rotation on this element here. You think about the, 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 the last piece of element here close to the shear, because you might have some other loading over here and the shear in the other sections might be different. But here in the proximity of this shear that you just found, how this shear produces rotation on this, on this element here? Well, it will produce rotation in this direction, right? Is it clear? So this rotation is clockwise. Therefore, this shear is positive. Okay? So if I make a cut over here, let's say make a cut over here. And let's say this is 10 and this is 20. Let me... remove this here. I make a cut over there. I have 10 pounds here. I have 20 pounds here. I have shear force V sub S. I do summation. This is too thick. Summation of forces in the X direction equals to, equal to zero. I'm gonna do positive in this direction. No, 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 no. Let me do positive in this direction. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna get the exact same, same result. Positive in this direction. So I will do VS. Plus 20 minus 10 equals to zero. Vs equals to minus 20 plus 10. Vs equals to minus 10. I got this negative. What this negative 
sign means this negative sign means that I may, I, my assumption of the direction of this was not right. This was in this direction here, like that. Right? That's the meaning of this minus sign here. So now I know that the direction of the chair is going up here. Is that positive or is that negative? So I have to think about this section here. Let's, let's, move, it, let's, let's move it here. I have a little piece of being here with a chair going up. Will this rotate due to that force in what direction? Clockwise or counterclockwise? Well, this will rotate like this, right? Due to that force. So that's a rotation counterclockwise. Therefore, this chair is negative. Okay? Make sense? Negative because it's counterclockwise, yes. Negative because that shear force produces a rotation on that on that piece of beam counterclockwise. So um, I, I I don't dare to do this here with my hands because if I do like the shear force is going up and this is rotating like that, uh, I don't know if you are looking at my image in uh, in what, sometimes these cameras reverse the image, do mirror image, no mirror image, and I'm looking from this side of my hand, this could be clockwise and for you could be counterclockwise, so I, I don't want to do that with my hands in front of the camera, but it will be better here on the, on the on the board let's do another example here so and you tell me i have this beam it has some loads here i don't know which one up down all these forces many forces and then i make my cut here and i put my shear force here and i calculate my shear force and it end up telling me that according to my calculations the shear force is going like this, and I found shear force equals five pounds. Is this shear force positive or negative? To see if you guys got it. Is that shear force positive or negative? Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? Negative, positive, negative or positive? So again, you have to think about the last part of the beam, this part of the beam. This part of the beam will rotate positive in, in what direction? Let me, do, let me do two diagrams here. This part of the beam here will rotate like this or will rotate, let's put it in a different color. This part of the beam will rotate like this or like this. Due to this chair going up, what? What rotation will be produced by this blue force going up? Rotation A or rotation B? Who, who else votes for A or B or A or B? A, more A's. People tend to go for A. Let me, yeah, if you have this beam with a force like this, we try to go like this, right? It will move. If, if, he, if he's going to move, it's move like it's moving like that. Or if it bends, it will bend like like this. Like a, an idea of counterclockwise. Right? So it will be option A. And once you see that the rotation is counterclockwise then you know that that shear is negative because counterclockwise is negative counterclockwise is negative shear try to to think about it go into your book and read about this topic in order to make clear um, the Basically, it's more than making clear, it's trying to find a way so you can remember. Because a convention, this doesn't apply on logic, it's just a convention that somebody decided, okay, this is the way we are going to do it. But it's not because of any, 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 it's not, it's not logic, it's just 
it's just a, it's a, it's just a convention that everybody decided, okay, we're gonna call this positive, we're gonna call this negative. And you have to make sure that you remember or you have some kind of mnemotechnic system to remember when a chair is negative or when a chair is, is positive. So when the chair produces a clockwise, a clockwise rotation of the element is going to be positive. When it's a counterclockwise, it's going to be negative. And, and look, to just, just to finish, it doesn't matter if you look at the chair from one side or from the other. Let's say we have a cut here and we have this chair and we look at the cut on the other side, it would be this one, right? This on the left will produce a rotation in this direction, right? And this on the right will make a rotation on this direction, see? What direction is this one here? This is clockwise. And what rotation is this one here? It's also clockwise. So it doesn't matter if you look at the left or you look at the right, they both are clockwise, so those both are positive here. See, even though one is going down and the other is going up, both are positive. So it's not, it's the convention cannot be if it's going up or if it's going down, that doesn't work. Because here, one goes up, the other goes down, and both are positive. You have to think about the rotation that produces on the, on the element. Wait, that rotation is not the moment. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. No, 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 we are not talking about moment here. The moment can be here in a different direction. No, just imagine if that force produces motion on that element, Imagine that motion, what kind of rotation produces? Hmm? No, 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 no. Good question, yeah, good note here. No, this has nothing to do with the moment. We are just looking here at a way to, to establish the sign of a shear force based on the direction that we find once you do your calculations. When you finish your calculations, you find that the shear is going, for example, up. And can you say it going up is positive or negative? No. The way to find if the shear is positive or negative is looking at what kind of rotation produces on the element. If it produces rotation on the element that is clockwise, that shear is positive. If the rotation is counterclockwise, that shear is negative. This has nothing to do with the moment. Now, you may have a case where you have, for example, here, this, this shear force is positive. And the rotation is like this. But this is not the moment. Maybe the moment in this case, maybe the moment is going in this direction. That's the moment. That's different. This moment produces on this beam a bending like that. A bending like this. But the moment, the moment produces a bending like this. This bending is a happy face. So this moment is positive, but has nothing to do with the rotation for the shear. That has, this has nothing to do. Got it? Please take a look at the book in the, in the chapter where they explain this in order to, to make those, the, that concept of sign convention for shear and the moment sink into your head because it's not, it's not a matter of reasoning or, or, or common sense. It's just a convention that somebody decided to establish one day and everybody's following and you just have to learn it like that. The, the way I do it for moments is really easy. If a moment produces a beam to smile, then it's a positive moment. If the beam gets sad, it's a negative moment and it's, it's very easy to remember that. And now for the shear, if the shear produces rotation clockwise, it's positive, counterclockwise is negative. It's kind of like, well, um, easy to remember. Let's finish there.